Hi there! After this lesson, you should be able to evaluate the square roots of small perfect squares. A local nonprofit organization is making a square quilt that covers an area of 36 square feet. They are going to donate it to a local family once it is finished. What is the length of the quilt? An understanding of square roots will help us solve the problem. A square root is one of two equal factors of a number. We denote a square root by using a radical sign. This number is read the square root of 9. We must ask ourselves, what number squared will equal 9? Since 3 times 3 equals 9, the number we are looking for is 3. But before finalizing our number, we must also recognize that negative 3 times negative 3 or negative 3 squared is also equal to 9. The square root of 9 is positive and negative 3. We can shorten our answer by writing it using a plus minus sign. Another approach is to draw a model. Think of a square filled with other squares, specifically unit squares, where the length and the width of these unit squares is 1. The large square is 9 square units. That's its area. This number can be found by multiplying its length times its width, or 3 times 3. This is also the same as squaring the length. 3 squared is equal to 9 square units, and therefore, if we work backwards, the square root of 9 is equal to 3. Find the square root of each number below. Since 4 squared, or 4 times 4, is equal to 16, the square root of 16 is equal to 4. Since 12 squared, or 12 times 12, is equal to 144, the square root of 144 is equal to 12. Since 1 squared, or 1 times 1, is equal to 1, the square root of 1 is equal to 1. We can use this information to solve simple equations such as this one. Just like addition is the inverse operation of subtraction, squaring a number is the inverse of taking the square root. Taking the square root of both sides will undo the square and leave us with just x on the left hand side. The square root of 25 is equal to positive and negative 5. Solve each equation below. To solve, we take the square root of each side of the equation. The square root of x squared is equal to x. The square root of 49 is positive and negative 7. The square root of 4 is positive and negative 2. And the square root of 100 is positive and negative 10. Now, let's see if we can find the length of this quilt. We know that the area of the square is equal to the side length, in this case x, squared. The area of the quilt is 36 square feet. We can now solve for x by taking the square root on both sides. x is equal to positive and negative 6. Since the lengths cannot be negative, the length of one side of the quilt is 6 feet long. Good job! Thank you.